Hello everyone, Vicar Linda here. It's lovely to hear and to see you all again. So shall we start our assembly? Tell me, how do we do that? <laughs> That's right. We light our candle and say our prayer. Let's do that, shall we? So let us pray. Lord God, as we light this candle, joining our prayers to those that have gone before, we ask your blessing on all of us and all whom we love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in this assembly, I thought we could think about what Jesus called his followers. In our Bible, there are two words that describe this, and they are... <laughs> Well done, I knew you would know. They are disciples and apostles. So what's the difference? Well, disciple means learner. So it's just like a pupil at school or like someone who's in training or studying. You know, we never stop learning. Even I'm still learning and I learn things new every single day. Now, has anyone seen a learner driver? And that's someone who's been taught to drive a car. And this is to show that they are learners. All right. So, they are really disciples. There we go. Look at that. So, we are a learner disciple. Now let's think about the other name which Jesus calls his followers, and that is apostle. So if disciple means learner, apostle means sent. So therefore apostle means someone who is sent for a purpose. Have we ever been sent a postcard or a letter? Here I have a postcard, that's the front. There we go, and that's the back, a postcard. So, let's spell the word apostle, shall we? There we go, apostle. Now the word disciple, which means learner, also implies discipleship. Now, that's why in the early church, the disciples were called Christians or more literally imitators of Jesus. So we could say that to be a disciple is to try to be like Jesus and to learn to drive our faith in Jesus forward. So let's have our reading. And I'm taking this today from Matthew 4 verses 18 to 22, from the NRSV. A reading from Matthew. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And as he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. And immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So let's have some actions, shall we? Now for the story that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a rhyming Bible again. This is so handy, isn't it? And it's fun, absolute fun. So when I say Jesus, Jesus, we know that action very well, don't we? Now we can all count, can't we? So when I say brother, it's, one, two, three, 
ball. When I say fishing or fish, let's pretend to fish, row, you know, pulling our nets and also fishing with a rod. Okay. And when I say come and follow, we make the come gesture. Come. Well done. Are we ready for a rhyming Bible? Brother, one, brother, two, fishing in the sea, brother, three, brother, four, come and follow me. Jesus walked along the shore, the shore of Galilee, and there he saw two brothers fishing in the sea. Leave your nets, said Jesus. Leave them, let them be. Come and fish for people. Come and follow me. Brother one, brother two, fishing in the sea. Brother three, brother four, come and follow me. So Simon left his nets behind, left them by the sea. Andrew did the same and shouted, hang on, wait for me. Then off they went with Jesus on the shores of Galilee. And there they met some other brothers fishing in the sea. Brother one, brother two, fishing in the sea brother three brother four come and follow me those brothers were called james and john the sons of zebedee and jesus said to them as well come and follow me like that they left their father surprised as he could be and left the nets behind as well, sitting by the sea. Brother one, brother two, fishing in the sea. Brother three, brother four, come and follow me. Well done. I thought that was very good, wasn't it? I think you're getting very good at this, aren't you? Now, once the disciples of Jesus had learned all that they had been taught, they were sent out as apostles. And here we have the postcard, apostles. Apostles to deliver a message. A bit like a postcard being sent by God to us to go out and to take the message of Jesus out into the big wide world. So are we disciples or are we apostles? Or are we both? Are we ready to be helpful to others? So let us pray. Dear God, help us to be disciples, always learning about Jesus and apostles, always ready to be positive and helpful, posting the good news of Jesus to everyone we meet. Amen. So let's blow our candle out. Now, if it's your birthday, either today, a few days ago or a few days time, Perhaps you would like to help me blow this candle out. Are we ready? <laughs> Happy birthday. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.